And this is how my glutes looked before and this is how my glutes looks now. I think comparisons always makes your words. <laughs> So I'm almost done with my 30 minutes of cardio. I don't have a lot of time this morning because I was able to sleep a little bit longer and also because we are training with Ashley, we're doing glutes. But today we're training at Dragons at nine. I gotta leave my house with an Uber this time at 8.30. So I want to be, I want to eat my meal like an hour before, so it means that I need to be done pretty quick today and just get ready, do my makeup. I still don't know exactly which outfit I'm gonna wear. <laughs> That's another thing and yeah, so you're probably gonna see me doing my makeup or with breakfast already. It just depends how much time it will take me to get ready because being late, I'm not the one to be late, so we're not doing that. Um, yeah guys, so I'll probably update you and get ready for the killer blue tea today. It's actually super windy today, however, it's not too cold, but you know what that wind So I'm just fighting the wind. Uh. I have a lot of time. Let's do the same thing again. So this is me before makeup. And time to eat because I am a little bit late already and I need to be a little bit faster. Okay guys, so it's time for our workout and my voiceover. To be completely honest, I'm redoing this entire voiceover again because it turns out I don't know how to turn on my microphone on the phone and even the ones that I actually gave to Ashley and me, I did a mistake and we were wearing microphones the entire time. We were talking, giving tips and it turns out it was shut off. So it didn't work. However, we started our workout with hip thrusts, which I absolutely love. I love free barbell. Unfortunately, I don't do them quite often because I train at elevation usually and Elevation doesn't have a setup, so I usually stick with Smith Machine. However, this thing, this leg press, vertical leg press, actually became my favorite thing. I used to do regular leg press um, when feet are slightly higher up, but we tried this one and the range of motion you can get here, how deep you can squat, how heavy it feels. It's just incredible. So if you have this kind of a machine, you definitely should try it. I believe you can also do it in a Smith machine. It will be a little bit different setup, but kind of similar. So this, I believe, was my third set or something like that. We did four sets total with a drop set, which absolutely killed me. My legs were sore for a couple of days afterwards. I was barely breathing after I was done with my set because I went quite high of a rep and Ashley really pushed me being there. Also, I don't know, it's just our energy when we chain together. It seems that 
I always feel stronger and can push better. I just I just love our workouts and it's amazing to have a junior partner like that. Uh, also, we did kickbacks in a machine and as you can see, I did them quite lightly. However, my legs were so shaky after the leg press that honestly, it was enough of a weight. I was dying already, you can see it from my face. Uh, then I did RDLs in Smith machine. I absolutely love this variation. Ashley did actually RDLs with cables just because she has quite a big of an arch in her lower back. So sometimes certain exercises or movements tends to cause her lower back pain, which of course you should always adjust your training and make sure that you are doing everything that's best for your body and feels nice. So even if we, if both of us doesn't feel the same exercise working well, we sometimes adjust or just change the angle or anything like that just to make sure that we are working properly and not wasting our gains, you know, because we are here to make huge gains. So another exercise that we did was this froggy style kickbacks and spin machine. Honestly, this Smith machine isn't the most comfortable. However, when somebody can hold a band just to make sure that the bar stays in place, definitely helps. Also, as you saw, we changed the position from straight bench to a little bit of an incline. So both variations for me feels good. Ashley definitely feels better on an incline just because of her, of her lower back. Um, we were also kind of <laughs> discussing the angles, the way that the exercise feels and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just sometimes, not sometimes. I mean, it's always exciting to try new things and just make sure that you are progressing and never be afraid of a change in your workouts. Also, never go for heavy weights if that makes you sacrifice your form because trust me, guys, you will get way better results by going a little bit lighter in weight, which still should be challenging, but just focusing on the tempo, on your technique, finding the right angle, the right exercise, the feel of the muscle. Because I know I used to ego lift quite a bit in the past and trust me, it it wasn't worth it because I was wasting a lot of my time just just trying to hit a certain number just to show off and it's it's not worth it. So just better focus on the movement as I said and the exercise. So as you can see, our workout is coming to an end. We finished with some abduction type of kickback because abduction machine was already occupied so we just decided to do some cables which still works well and sometimes it's just nice to adjust your workout and change some things if machine isn't available or just something is occupied okay so now, okay, so now that our workout is done how do you rate it how do you feel how was it that was a good like 8.5 maybe a 9 it was yeah. good i feel jello -y. yeah i think we made quite a serious choice with our leg press in the beginning because <laughs> since then my legs and glutes are fried yeah me too yeah. that was that was the burner for sure mm -hmm. i liked it though and one more thing i wanted to kind of ask you like you have to pick three exercises for glutes that you can do only those for the rest of your life you gotta be strategic with it so just pick three exercises that you would do just like for the rest of your life and just only those you cannot do anything else I would say um, donkey kick on hamstring curl machine, mm -hmm. number one, adductions, and then uh, concentra uh, concentrated curtsy lunge. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. that sounds good. For me, honestly, it, it would definitely be hip thrust. After today, I would say vertical leg press because I loved it. And then, of course, abductions because you still got to target do those upper glutes and mm -hmm. side glutes. So yeah, to be strategic. I would say so. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I really hope you enjoy the workout. Um, next time, we probably will be training arms, shoulders, something like that. Mm -hmm. In fitness. I don't know if you're <laughs> going to see that because I'm not sure if they allow you to film there. But we'll see. Hopefully, we we'll can see one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So stay tuned. finished my two big post-workout meals and it's perfect timing my buff bunny delivery just came so i'm so excited to 
try these on i ordered some additional stuff from their collection i'm not sure if everything is here because i saw that they have sent me some jackets from canada and these are definitely from united states because these came here pretty quickly so i'm gonna try these on i'm gonna show you because you know they just launched their boyfriend collection which is just amazing and my my definite favorite all the pieces all the colors the fits so i needed to stack on these because i know that they will be gone from the website probably for for forever or at least for a long time so gotta gotta take my time and just order those but yeah so i'm just gonna try these on and show you to film a mini try on haul but then I decided also to kind of talk a little bit more about these pieces and explain so this is actually their crossover bra which is a little bit older one but I still think it's available and super cute and goes super well with these um, leggings that I am in love with I love the flare design I actually got with went um, with extra extra small and usually I'm extra small However, I also ordered a regular length and I'm super short, so I definitely needed to go with short one. However, they didn't have that one available anymore, so I just went a size smaller and in a regular length, so it kind of fits me. It could be slightly shorter, but I mean, it's fine. And it looks super, super cute, so I'm gonna try another two of the bras for this outfit and just show you and yeah, so that looks super, super cute and I love it. I'm probably gonna waste a lot of money right now because I'm planning to order even more because I love how it looks like and I want to have everything in more colors. What a struggle, what a struggle. this bra it kind of reminds me of candy bra bra just in a little bit different design it also really soft to feel i feel like it would be a nice top to wear even with jeans or a skirt it looks like not even a gym bra so i suppose you can work out in this one but as i said it's kind of a lifestyle piece for me at least it looks like so really really glad i ordered this one it feels super secure um i have it in size small as always and yeah that's pretty much it i really hope you enjoyed this vlog please give me some ideas questions in the in the comments below because of course i will be filming more videos with ashley by myself and all of that stuff so i really want to make sure that i am doing what's the most interesting to you and just sharing um, stuff that you are curious about and yeah i really wanted to make this video as valuable as possible and because it's mainly about glutes about glute training i thought i will share some of the things that really really helped me to transform my glutes and this is how my glutes looked before and this is how my glutes looks now i think comparisons always makes your words a little bit more meaningful or people just tend to listen a little bit better if they see your transformation so this is what i just did and i actually have my little notes here because i just quickly wanted to kind of write down some things that really helped me so that i wouldn't forget but one thing that i recently shared on instagram and people were kind of confused about it but i truly truly believe in it and it really helps and it worked for me so the thing that really helped me is actually training my glutes when they are sore and even training my muscle when 
the muscle group is still sore really helped me in transforming the way my mind muscle connection works and especially if you have difficulties to connecting with your glutes when they are sore it's probably the best time to train them and to get a better mind muscle connection with because you already can feel it really, really good and firing and stuff like that of course with training when being sore you still need to be smart with it and don't train your glutes two days in a row drastically have drastic leg days but for example if you did a leg day one day and then another day you have upper body you can maybe include some kickbacks some one exercise for glutes even just to kind of get a feeling and improve that mind muscle connection and the more you practice the better you'll get of course overtraining is a thing so don't go crazy with it but just try those things try to apply it and i think you will see a big difference so another thing that actually helped me to get better with my glutes i included more unilateral work when i train only with one leg and one side so it helps to fix little imbalances and make sure that you are not getting injured and your body works properly you are functional the exercises that i loved um, doing unilaterally is leg press i also included a lot of different variations of um, lunges i love curtsies i love bulgarian split squats um, i love even smith machine lunges recently i actually started doing them way more instead of bulgarians but i love them both they work amazingly also kickbacks of course and even b stance rdls when you are just doing it with one leg one side those are definitely not the ones that you can go heavy with by just connecting as as i mentioned before with your mind muscle connection going slowly prioritizing tempo and really, really working those glutes so i used to do not used to i mean i i do still b stands rdls from time to time it's not my main exercise that i focus on but i definitely include them and usually i do them by the end of, the, of my workout when I'm already exhausted, already tired. I don't need to go extremely heavy on those anyways. So I'm just kind of finishing off with those and it really, really works. So make sure to do some unilateral work, not only to improve your glutes, but just to make sure that you are not getting injured or you are not um, getting major imbalances. So another thing, of course, food intake, it's crucial um, of course you need to be in a optimal spot nutritionally to build your glutes which ideally would be a calorie surplus of course for now i'm still in my calorie surplus but it can be quite difficult to meet your calories especially when they are really high and i used to say that it's better to eat for example higher fat meats and stuff like that to hit your calories easier without going crazy with volume because if you are eating leaner meats you need to eat quite a bit of them to meet to get the same calories however i noticed that eating lean protein sources leaner meats maybe even leaner fish just really helps you digest quicker so for example if i would be eating a steak i wouldn't be hungry for several hours and if i eat a chicken breast or leaner fish i can eat in an hour and a half two hours and just make sure that i'm eating often enough i'm hitting those calories and my digestion is going well compared to as i said when i'm eating fattier stuff it just sits in my stomach for way too long and it's just not helpful so i would rather just stay on a leaner type of proteins of course i still have quite a bit of fats in my diet but those are mainly from plant sources which is avocados nuts nut butters sometimes i do olive oil um what else eggs and stuff like that just to not overload my digestive system because i need to eat quite a bit and i feel like when calories are high carbs are high it's just so difficult to to eat enough you know so just be smart with that, experiment with your food, just find what works for you, but I'm just sharing what really helped help and work for me. And as I said, calorie surplus is key when building your glutes or in general, you want to build more muscle and just get stronger basically. Last thing of course is rest days, which is, as you know, super, super important, but I used to go ham with my legs. Sometimes I even did them four times a week, which 
it's a lot on your body and it's not only for your muscles and for your recovery but it's also for your central nervous system which tends to over exhaust and then progressing or pushing yourself in the gym will be just impossible so don't do that it's enough for you to have two to three leg days a week structure them smartly um, don't do two days in a row or anything like that just make sure that you are recovering i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did click the like button and of course share it with your friends maybe even and yeah i really really appreciate you being here and i'll see you in the next one